when you look at the Persona series, you see another great example of a fully in-house engineered speaker. The Persona series has been in development now for well over five years. Two years ago at the Munich show, we displayed our concept 4F, and this was the first glimpse the public ever had of what would become the Persona 9H. When you take a prototype, like we did at the Munich show, you're really taking a risk because nobody's ever seen this product before. And I still recall one guy standing up, leaving the room, coming back again about an hour later and sitting again for a while. And he looked at me and he said, don't let anybody mess this up. Bring this to market just the way it is. And that's what I knew we had something special. The cabinet is constructed of seven layers of composite material. And between those layers, there is a special adhesive that acts as a constraint layer damper. When the layers are put together, the adhesive is wet and it allows for layers to bend. Then they put into a press and the press puts the cabinet into its shape. At that point, there is a burst of microwave energy that instantly cures that adhesive and the cabinet retains its shape. Persona 9H includes six drivers. Four of them are woofers, two of them facing forward and two uh, rearward. There is a mid-range driver and a tweeter. One of the most important features of mid-range and tweeter drivers that we use in Persona 9H is that we decided to use beryllium as the diaphragm material. And in case of a 7-inch mid-range driver, that's pretty unique. The advantage of beryllium, it's very lightweight. It's about 30% lighter than aluminum. It's four times as rigid as the aluminum and it also has very good damping properties. If you pick up a beryllium cone and try to knock on it, it doesn't sound like metal at all. It sounds like a piece of wood. But of course, it is much lighter than wood and much stiffer than wood. Acoustic loudspeaker designers, they like those properties because that means that there is no resonances and because of slight weight, the efficiency of the driver is much higher. One of the striking elements of 9-inch design are PPAs perforated phase alignment lenses that we put over the mid-range and the tweeter drivers. What the PPA does, it blocks the sound from the portion of a diaphragm which is out of phase and only lets the sound that adds to the overall sum to go through the lens. And uh, the difference between PPA and typical phase plug is that it does that gradually. The whole pattern on PPA is designed by a very careful consideration of how blocking out of phase frequencies need to happen over the surface of a diaphragm. There is no abrupt change of no phase plug and then there is a phase plug. That has a benefit of smoother frequency response and even better off-axis dispersion. The woofers in Persona 9H use uh, differential drive technology which consists of two voice coils, one on the same former. They are spaced out along the axis of the coil and they are wound in opposite direction. When the signal runs through those coils, each of them generates magnetic field. That magnetic field opposes each other and the resulting magnetic field from both of those coils is reduced to almost zero. The net effect of that cancellation is dramatically reduced distortion. There are several reasons why we have front and rear mounted woofers. By placing them this way, we introduced vibration cancelling. When the woofer cones move, they create a recoil effect, just like shooting a rifle. When the voice coil moves back or forward, it moves the rest of the speaker in opposite direction. So by having two woofers in the front and two in the rear, that effect is mostly cancelled. By uh, making the bass section amplified, we're able to introduce room correction technology. We call it ARC. Each speaker interacts with the room it's in. ARC is designed to correct those interactions. It has this technology built right into the speaker. Each speaker comes with a microphone and ARC kit that allows the user to quickly and easily tailor the sound to the room the speakers are in. The net effect of uh, room correction technology, the amplification and the driver technology that we put into 9H is that the user can play the speaker as loud as 120 dB and as low as 15 Hz. I'm extremely proud of 9H. All the technologies that we incorporated the speaker created the result that we couldn't dream of uh, several years ago. It totally exceeded my expectations. When I stand back and I look at the 9H and I think of everything we've built over the years, 
this is truly a shining moment for Paradigm. This really is showcasing all of our talents in one speaker.